All right. Five red lights and we're just waiting for it to go green. It looks like we're off and I'm, I think I saw a jump start there in the background, but it's okay. Anyways, drivers are heading down towards turn one. Alexander cuts off Goran uh, on the inside there as he stays ahead. Goran trying around the outside. So he's managed to overtake Alexander. Brilliant he's move from him. Spin in the background and now it's there. those two drivers who have to uh, build a gap already. He's built up one second gap and Owen uh, caught up in some trouble there in the background. I'm not quite sure what happened, but... Um, yeah, derogatory pineapple has a spin as well as he's trying to get back on track. Owen doesn't look like he's got any damage. Um, see each other when when Owen went down the field and he's not boxing, so maybe he Ooh. leaves he doesn't have damage. Giancarlo has gone around. Giancarlo. And there's another driver oh. retiring from the session, I think, up the road there. There he is there to the right. That's the Williams. Yeah, so. So, so yeah, we've lost yeah, Agatha. They're... Gone around somewhere. Yeah, I don't really... Maybe it was on the restart. I'm not quite sure what happened there. Uh, maybe a bit too eager on the throttle while mid-corner. Easily calls you to spin. If that, if by himself, because you know, his teammate, Iron Furious, had a bit of a moment earlier. Yeah, Grenade Gorin sort of yeah. running away with this race already. So four seconds and three laps. Uh, quite impressive uh, showing from him so far. Ready to pounce on them anytime soon. You can't and turn tranquilo once you get on it because he has Mr. George catching him from behind. So, yeah, maybe that team orders at play has done it. But you've got to remember, it does happen. In this case, they have yep. got the Ferrari covered. Yeah, Georgia Ioannidis uh, looking very racy behind Tranquilo, just sniffing his uh, rear diffuser, as it seems, uh, through the chicane there. Uh, Dirty Air playing a bit more of a, an so effect. Gonna, is he going to try and send it around the outside? Does he have the pace? Does he have the grip? Doesn't quite look like it gets completely run off the road by Tranquilo. I don't, that wasn't the fact that continues, but um, that was uh, unfortunate in, for George indeed. Anyways, P7, he's got the pace. It's just a matter of time before he gets past. Just patience and you will get it. All right, slowly but surely cruising away against them as George maybe has a look up the inside into the penultimate corner. Looks like he's managed to make it stick. Tranquilo has to back off a little bit. Maybe he was trying to get DRS or something, but actually he dives he's boxed. into the pit lane. That's an early pit lane. He's gone. There's uh, Mr. Thunders. He's got a good exit, but has the grenade got a good exit? I think he has yeah, too. It doesn't look like he's quite... Uh, Close enough to do it, but in the background, there's a lot of fighting as uh, Neo Dio gets his way up to P4. And is that Snelle, uh, sorry, Futuristic trying across uh, around as we see the AI of Kurtz falling back uh, throughout the grid? And that might be causing some sort of distraction for the drivers, but there's nothing we can do about that one. Yeah, it will be. Uh, they just have to get past. Sure. Absolutely causing a distraction. He, he spins, hits the wall, drives back, yeah. spins into the pit lane somehow. As while that's happening, Goran manages to get past Tipsy Bob into turn one, takes that position, says thank you very two. much. Oh, so must have a bit of a tank slapper going in the pits. I didn't quite see it. But I did yeah, see it. A... I, I saw him just obviously spin a little bit into the pits. Like he's but... got the pace, he's got the speed, he's using his battery. Uh, so is Merlion though, so not quite close enough yet it seems, and he does manage to stay. Right. And get on with yeah. it. Oh, he's not going to wait now, is he? Trying around the outside into turn five, there's a risky line off the track, he goes. Uh, not worth the, the risk, that one, I don't believe, but uh, uh, Wamzik fighting out. Live for Soul uh, gets past, pushes Wamzik wide, and uh, Ioannidis gets past as well. Good catch. I missed that one. Fresh up. Well, he's got the hard tyres. So they got plenty of pace to go. And we'll go back to that. I just want to keep an eye on that battle at the front, too, because well, I mean, we missed him before. But look at the exit speed out of the uh, the Ferrari there, so he gets Tranquilo does get the job done. Able to stay ahead for now. Goran sending around the outside. He's got the inside for the next corner, so he will have this overtake done and dusted. Now all he needs to do is build that gap, and you can see in the background. Oh, contact in the background. Snella Henke and Ioannidis collide. Uh, I, well, Ioannidis uh, trying to go up the inside of Snella Henke into those two drivers. I got caught out for a second. I thought Tranquilo was about to get an overtake on Lovey done, but he just uh, completely glitched for me off the track and then back on again so hopefully that's all that was just a spectator thing that was a yeah, scary so moment well. he's going to drive completely around the outside yes he can but remember the inside line but that'll also reverse back in the next corner and I think he definitely has the, 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 job, the done, job done for the Red Bull Christian Horn is, foot, a... is tapping like crazy down the pit wall there's <laughs> a great overtake by Danny and um, I'm just, I've been wondering so they're running the one off liver is that do they have one a choice who gets a better exit looks like uh, Owen gets a better exit but uh is Janoka able to fight back as he will have the outside line for the next corner and uh, Owen is a little bit in the dirty of Danny but he seems to have covered that one off and I think Goran's oh. maybe putting another set of mediums on as uh, Neo Dio gets a drive through for speeding under safety car and that's that's going to cost him dearly as uh, Grenoble Goran comes out on fresh medium tyres so does Merlion 
Colonel Gorin gets out in P2. So he only has to overtake Tranquilo and he's back in the lead and that will be a huge for him as Tipsy Bob is down in P6. I didn't think he could own the safety car. No, he's not safe. Uh, I'm, I'm not sure if Oh, he no, he doesn't have can. it. Neo does. My apologies. Yeah. <laughs> Neo has uh, gone into um, the pit lane getting a little bit in the way of all the drivers, but he, he's played the strategy perfectly, as it seems. He's in P7 on the, those hard tires, so they will last in the race. But uh, obviously, the points will not count towards him. It's a the safety car restart, but again, no DRS until three laps after the, the restart. So we saw it earlier with Merlion. Merlion was able to stay ahead until DRS was open, and Tranquilo might be able to do the same thing. And they're going to go any second now. As soon as that Ferrari tank slaps it, yeah, you're going to be very careful. Off into the barriers oh, Owen's off. has his front wing broken and he's left the session oh. so um that didn't take long for that didn't take long for for Owen to retire and is that uh, going to be a virtual safety car yes or no i'm not sure goran manages to get past tranquilo so he's not able to hold him back more than Merlin was that allows larry Fasol to but now get... look at this now mr thunders wants to take it last of the late breakers around here he's got to be confident in his ties he can be they're much much fresher than the Ferraris. I don't think Ferrari's putting up too much of a fight, Tranquilo. He does realise at this point, you know, my tyres are... A little bit of a train forming behind him now as uh, Merlion storms off away from him. Uh, just outside of DRS reach, although it seems to have made a little mistake in those few corners. So but, uh, to for slow, but uh, both of them using their their energy as a uh, trying a little bit up. The inside sort of pushing him a little bit wide, but that was clean enough and for slow opens the door. George gets his way and he has to back out of it for now as that allows Wamsky, Wamsky to get up ahead and I think... Uh, Battle for P3, George trying around the outside into turn 4, is able to make it stick, so he's up to P3 now. Great exit, trying to make his move around the outside, is not able to do it as all. Oh, they're basically pushing him through the corner, uh, Ramsky is on level for Sol and these two house drivers. And, and then try to get Lavi to hold off the Alfa Romeo driver as long as possible, to allow Lavi to try to catch up, get past Tranquilo on that DRS, and then work his way on George, who's now pulling 2.5 second gap once he got past Tank Tranquilo. What is he gonna do? He tries to go oh, for a medium. Oh no, the task drivers touch. Touched task each drivers other. collide. And <laughs> Snelly Hanky says, Thank you very much. Yes. Three positions in one corner. Three for one special from the Alfa Romeo, just by being patient. <laughs> Truly, while the Hasses have not worked together here, and Gontart will be smashing doors down there, I'd have to say. Yeah, Wamski looks like he left Larry for Soul Pass uh, this time. Too much time, about a second or two. What about for the yeah, Hass team? Let's see. The big winner in this one looks like it's in Hungary for the win. Uh, thank you for the pun, Hammer. Very appreciated, but uh, I'm sure he is. I'm sure any other drivers in the top five are hungry for the win. We still have 10 laps to go, believe it or not. <laughs> and things are still yeah. spicing up. Yeah, this race is uh, going by pretty quickly, I'd say. It feels like it's been quite short so far. All of a sudden, we only Oh, yes, they do. And a little bit of a tank slapper there. Uh, as Snelle Henke gets past the AI already, but uh, he's covering the inside heavily. Um, I think he, so, pretty good restart so, uh, there yeah, for me and, and almost surmounting a charge onto Sunday Heike as well. I got a fantastic helicopter camera, I don't want to change it at all, as everybody's just going straight through that AI that's annoying that the absolute, you know, what out of them. Quickest way to defend or if you should try and focus on your exit instead, but what's happening here is they are losing time, Tranquilo is sort of catching up again, they were yeah, one point five. Say, boxes right now, he would be plump last, remember. I would say this is uh, just a little bit of a saving grace as the DRS is just not enabled for a few more laps and he gets to cool down his tires. As drivers, it's got, it's got all the goodies. And if you're an engineering and driver, safety cars in this lap, you're engineering and driver then, hey, mate, it's got brilliant. Take around the outside into turn one. Looks like he's going for it, actually. Maybe a little bit late on the break because nine hours, but he just goes out wide. Goran has to back Sorry. out of it. And he's, it looks like he's able to make the move stick and Goran is back up to P1. I9 is down to P2. 14 lap all mediums versus 5 lap all softs. Obviously, some of those behind the safety car. Oh, remember, he already got past Tranquilo, so he's lost out somewhere at a pit stop, I believe. Yeah, it was uh, the double stack in the pit stop, wasn't it, that uh, cost yeah. him? Or maybe it was uh, no. the restart the last race where Tranquilo got ahead in the background. Yeah. We see. Or maybe it was uh, no. the restart the last race where Tranquilo got ahead in the background. We see Futuristic on Larry Fasol makes the overtake. Stick, and he is now promoted up to P6. Great, brilliant overtake from Futuristic. Uh, no dear S uh, assistance there. That was just pure uh, racing. He, he he needs to get past, and and soon, because time's not on your side. You got four laps or so in, to go, here, 
He's also got Tipsy Bob for pressure. That's one driver you don't want. So that is a... Uh, well, he has gotten George then uh, before the race is over. That was uh, very unfortunate from him. So that is both McLaren drivers, P11, P12. Not where Zach Brown really wants wide to be. into that breaking zone. <laughs> not quite sure if that's legal or not, but he does uh, slot back in behind Tranquilo. Uh, so Tranquilo does stay in P2 for now, but this Snelly seems to just have that bit more pace. He's, yeah, Hank. he's now... They're going to bunch them all up, so he could potentially lose. He'll lose out Tipsy Bob, Lava, and maybe even Futuristic. You could lose a bunch of positions here. That's what you don't yeah, want. Yeah, I think Snelly Henke at least loses P6. I thought that it was the guy holding the front wing. didn't. Maybe Neo didn't. <laughs> yeah, Neo was taking a bit of a longer pit stop than usual there, so I think maybe oh. he did indeed. That's going to promote the royalty pineapple up to P10. Um, well, he'll, he'll be he'll be P8, it? but remember. Oh yeah, of course. Is. Yeah. So he didn't just. I don't think he lost out from pitting. I don't. I believe he was maybe behind Danny. I can't remember exactly, but um... I didn't get it for too long. <laughs> <laughs> I had it once today. Okay, I can't beg for too much. Here we go. So, yeah. Goran's oh gone. no, Tranquilo! Oh, he's in the wall. He's binned it on the restart. And he is out of the race. Oh no. <laughs> that is not the way you want to uh, start your, your lap time. But um, anyways, Goran has a two second gap. Senna Henke in P2, Tipsy Bob up to P2. Followed by the house driver, Wamski, in P6. So he's had a brilliant restart. This is what I said, didn't yes, I? Didn't I? Yes. Yeah. They caught me off guard there. It did indeed, and uh, Wamski almost takes Lyra for Soul on, on the... Victory for the Ast Al Al Aston Martin driver there. Doing it for Finland, no doubt. Both fin Finnish drivers are on the... Um, Sw uh, Swedish, Swedish, Swedish drivers, so my apologies, yes. <laughs> I'll get that right one day. There's somewhere in Scandinavia, <laughs> put it that way.